John, so obviously you guys are having an insane postseason right now. Did you ever believe that this team was going to be here? Uh, I did in a, in a weird way. You know, I always envisioned it, um, but it's another thing for it to actually happen. But I, I've seen it in my mind a million times. I, I've seen us holding the trophy up. I've seen us um, on Peachtree holding the trophy up uh, with the parade. I've seen it a million times, but to, to be this close to trying to manifest it is, is really is, is different. When you see what this city is doing, they're rallying behind this team. There is now the casual basketball fan coming out supporting you guys. What does that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. That's, that's something uh, I've seen start to change, being you know one of the longer tenure players here. Um, seeing the fandom sort of ramp up is something that we, we long for and appreciate. For you, you know, people doubt Trey. We could talk about Trey, but people have doubted you too. I mean, they right. have pretty much the entire time you've been in the NBA, but you're having one heck of a postseason. Thank you. Is it something for you where you just want to prove the doubters wrong? Yeah, I always want to prove the doubters wrong. Um, I don't necessarily do it for them. You know, I try to just be the best best, best player I can be, but uh, it's always nice to, to shut them up. Um, and uh, what better way to do that, do that than by winning? So uh, uh, no complaints for me on them. They can keep hating if they want to. You had a great game one, obviously, here in Milwaukee. You were a key part of the success down the stretch, and obviously the highlight of the night was that lob off the backboard. Take me through that play, and you said something about how you were kind of on the same page as Trey. You knew he was going to do that, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's something that we've had game rest on before, which yeah. is pretty cool, um, and something that we've done a million times in practice. So, um, you know, I know when he's going to throw it. I can just tell, you know, I can just tell at this point, and we, we connected on it. Ballsy, you know, very uh, bold of him to throw it, but I had to go, you know, get it and uh, connect on it. So, it's, you know. <laughs> when you're watching Trey do what he does when he's shushing the garden, shimmying in front of Bucks players, like, what is that like for you as his teammate? Uh, it's 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 who he is. Like at this point, you know, I, I always say it. I'm not to downplay it, but he's built for the bright lights. He loves the moment. Um, the other day he was doing push-ups. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. he, that's just who he is. You know what I mean? And uh, uh, you just I just have to accept that and uh, embrace it as I do and, and, and cheer him on. So the conversation and the narrative for you guys. You guys are going up against Julius Randle. You take care of business against Joel Embiid. You take care of business. Now you got Giannis Antetokounmpo and you guys are doing it and you're completing every game and winning games. Now that you've gotten past all those stars, do you feel like sky's the limit? You guys could win a title? Uh, I definitely feel like we have the, a, a big opportunity to win a title. Um, I, I feel like with the first two series that we've had, it's prepared us for, um, you know, the moments that are going to be coming. Um, they're very physical. Uh, hard fought first couple of series that I feel like prepared us for right now and um, gives us a little confidence to, to actually, you know, think about holding that Larry O'Brien up. I have to ask you because contracts and free agency, I'm sure, is probably in the back of your mind in some situations. But the fact that you guys have a lot of chemistry and camaraderie, does that allow you to play a little bit more freely and not necessarily focus on that? Oh, of course. I feel like that's, you know, been one of the big factors that's allowed everybody to prosper, not as only myself. Um, just that we have a strong brotherhood of guys that are unselfish. Um, we have a great, you know, talented guy at the helm and Trey who, um, you know, starts the fire and all gets us going as well. And, um, and you know, as well as Coach Mack who um, just really helped us, you know, turn a lot of things around. And uh, I feel like that's, you know, a lot of things that's implemented for, for me being successful as well as the team. And then the fact that you guys don't have any All-Stars, no MVPs, do you almost think that says a little bit more about this team that you guys are able to be as successful as you are? It's any guy's night on any given night. Definitely, you know, I feel like we're 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 a deadly team who has a, a lot more weapons than people uh, take into account for, and I feel like it always surprises surprises them. And uh, you know, the element of surprise is, is, is lethal at in certain times, and I feel like we definitely use it in game ones on the road. Um, and it's something that we need to continue to use to, to try to just be successful. Going to be shimming or doing any push-ups anytime soon? I don't know. Um, <laughs> definitely going to be trying to dunk on somebody, though. Okay. Yeah. Oh, question. I, you know, you did bring this up. What's the story behind that? You said that the other day, but you didn't give it up, what the story was behind that T-shirt. Uh, we know what of, happened, but why did you do it? Why did you create that T-shirt? Um, you know, I actually didn't create it. Um, okay. It was actually a gift from a, a gift from a friend, and um, he wanted me to wear it before the game. I, I ended up actually getting it after, and... Uh, I was like, man, I've been on for the interview, and it actually worked out perfectly that way. But um, I didn't make the shirt myself, but I got it and wore it. So, you know, to each his own. It's still, still this, you know, the same sort of revenge um, yeah. that I said I was going to get on him. I, I got it, and we're even. So, highlight of your career that dunk? Um, 
I hope not. I hope we have something better than that. But I mean, you know, it's a, it's a it's a nice highlight though, for sure. It's one I was up there. Awesome. Good luck the rest of the way. Okay. Thank you.